Joining me is Dr. Kate Elfrey, a hey. cardiologist at Mercy Medical Center. Thank you so much for taking time to come and talk to us. Thank you for having me. Answer some questions. Here. Yeah, um, very dramatic thing happened. People watched it unfold in front of them. You saw what happened. I did. And you, you don't treat uh, Mr. Hamlin. However, you're a cardiologist from your perspective. Can you give us an idea of what might have happened? I think that uh, with the with the footing that I saw, most likely commotio cordis, which has been the hot topic and what right. everyone is talking about mm -hmm. um, recently, that blunt force injury to the chest at just the right place at just the right time, unfortunately causing, most likely causing an irregular heart rhythm mm -hmm. that triggered the underlying cardiac arrest. Right. And now this seems to be very rare and almost like a freak occurrence. It is. It, it has to happen in the perfect storm. Um, and it's actually, it's, it's very rare. We're noticing it more often, um, I think mostly in male athletes and younger male athletes as we start to um, notice sudden cardiac death in, in these types of situations. Mm -hmm. And we have more data to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, um, our heart cells have, are controlled by an electrical conduction system that trigger our heart to beat. And if that conduction circuit is interrupted at just the right time, then it can trigger the heart to go into a dangerous and lethal irregular heart rhythm, mm -hmm. which is called ventricular fibrillation. Mm -hmm. In that situation, then the heart is unfortunately unable to pump enough blood flow up to the brain. And so that's when you witness the passing out, the falling backwards, and um, you know the body is not able to be perfused right. by the heart muscle. He's 24. Is does that make it a little bit unusual? It does. So most of the time, as I mentioned, it's seen in males and in younger males. Typically, uh, the median age, I believe, is 15 to 17 years, sometimes even younger. And that's mostly because the breastbone and the sternum is not fully developed mm -hmm. in younger males. Highly unlikely in males over the age of 20, but as I tell my patients, never say never in medicine. For sure. Um, you know, every body is different. A lot of times when you have underlying cardiac arrest, this is not the most common cause, um, especially in a young, right. you know. Very rare. Right, right. Yeah. So he's sedated. He's at the hospital in critical condition. Mm -hmm. Explain real quickly, what, why, are they, why is he sedated? What is that for? Well, again, not being involved in his care, um, my suspicion would be that now that we know that we've, his heart was restarted on the field, which is a great sign that before mm -hmm. he even got to the hospital, his heart was back in rhythm. Once the heart gets back in rhythm, uh, the focus becomes on trying to figure out what happened in the first place and then trying to preserve brain function. Mm -hmm. The time that the heart was not beating was the time that the brain was not getting oxygen. And so a lot of times after that happens, we will sedate a patient to actually cool their body temperature down, allow their vital organs to rest so that their brain can get better perfusion mm -hmm. and that when they wake up and the sedation is stopped, they're more likely to have a, a better outcome, neurologic right. outcome. Okay. And real quick before we go, he was able to have CPR right away. And that was so important. So important. And if that's the one thing I could stress, it's learn how to do CPR. I mean, you never know when you'll have the chance to save a life. And, you know, they definitely saved his life by getting there wow. right away. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us and answering thanks for questions, having me, Dr. Alfred. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Back to you, Ashley. All right, ladies, thanks so much. And cardiac arrest is not the same as a heart attack. See the causes of cardiac arrest and learn what needs to be done immediately to save someone's life. We explain all of that in the WBAL-TV app.